your chats are going to be more active if you get rid of the haters yes i've been getting messages from people i don't like i just i don't know i just feel more mature i don't know what it is like mature in a sense there's some things mature wise i will never change i will always laugh at farts and act like it's a crime if i use filters i know like god Ooh, it smooths my skin a little bit more Ooh. oh well no my fupa and my rolls are here there you go there you want a thumbnail go god I just want to, like, I guess, just say some things that are on my mind. I turned off comments because, oh, you can't handle the heat. No, I can't handle the constant obsessive hate. No, I can't right now. I'm trying to be very, very, move my life in a positive direction. And I just can't do that with, like, I need to just turn everything off. I have support here. I have, I won't get bored like before because I don't even go, I don't, you know what? I don't even, I'm going to get to that. I don't even effing, um... What was I saying? Somebody just texted me. <laughs> I hate this. I can't fucking focus. This is what recorded like I oh, okay. I have you guys. So before when I used to turn off comments, I would be bored. I don't read my comments like at all. I don't like barely, barely, barely once in a while. Um I barely, barely read them. So I'm just gonna turn them the fuck off. And those people can F off. You know, like go away. Go hate somewhere else. You're bullying and you're stupid and now Fupa man, uh, West Virginia is crying a river. Like you sit there on your panel and you bully people and you're gonna cry that you're not that you're being bullied too or what? I don't know. Oh, I can't with the hypocrisy on this platform. And then it was HelloFresh. I put that on my list to cancel. I just I just postponed HelloFresh for another month. So, anyways, I want like the comment I posted on my community post. I hate these kind of people. They're so ignorant and disgusting. Like, why would your situation just because it's a little more serious or different than someone else's that you have any any reason to judge someone else's situation based on yours that's your life this is my life so just because i don't have kids with people act like people's hate for me judge clouds their judgment people are willing to sympathize with some with like abusive behavior just because they hate me or they're willing to do you know what i mean like their situation is the prime example of a, what the fuck is a real survivor that is bullshit i need real survivor t-shirt merch hey everybody welcome back to stories from the internet now footy beauty is still making everything about her when she talked about me made everything about her talked about my mom made everything about her talks about gary and his current situation when he's pouring his heart out he is being real he's being honest he's being straightforward she makes it about her because that's just the person she is. Even Amberlyn Reed's apology to Nader El Shami she made about her. Because once again, that's the type of person she is. So if you didn't know, Amberlyn Reed responded uh, about an hour ago and she had this to say. I do not insult people or try not to at least. So that's not what I'm going to be doing. Chantel, if you think I'm gaslighting you, I'm sorry. If I hurt you, I'm sorry. These things were not my intention. You preach so much about hate online, how it affects you, how people call you a liar even though you aren't, etc. Now you're going to do the same to me even though you know who I am as a person offline more than any of these haters of ours do. And I've only ever been kind to you, stood by you and respected you. Even after you made fun of me years ago about me using scooters, I still supported you. I'm not going to continue this online because honestly, this wasn't the point. Even though a large portion of people think that was my goal, I'll still continue to support you because that's the kind of person I am. But I'll no longer be speaking about this online. If you want to talk about it, you can contact me in private. And... Well, Foodie Beauty contact her? I don't know. Uh, did Amberlynn Reed do this because she wanted to stir up some drama? Maybe, probably, I don't know. But what I can say is that Foodie Beauty loves to make every single thing about her. And that's one of her worst qualities. 
to be honest, she likes to lie and she has been lying repeatedly. Saying that she doesn't use filters, then saying she does, then saying, is it wrong to use filters? No, it's not. But then she'll lie and say she doesn't use filters. Foodie Beauty, you've said you've used filters multiple times. Stop lying. How many friends does Amber have exactly? She has, like, she's burned, like, every bridge, too. Oh, I don't know what her problem is, Madeline, whatever. <laughs> Fake counting calories. Yeah, you need, like, sweetie, come here. Hi. Hi, Panaria. So I just saw that video and I'm like, what? You're, the post, I'm like, you're gonna actually like sit there now and like gaslight and like, this is oh, honestly, I'm not giving her any more attention, but cause that's what she's gonna do now, but. Cause I'm sick of it. The lies just roll off your tongue. The gaslighting rolls off your tongue. I'm sick of you making everything about yourself. I mean, you're pissing people off. If Gary wants to say his piece, if he wants to be open and honest to people, let him be open and honest because you would like the same thing to be open and honest to people but all you do is just lie your ass off sit on your bed sit on your couch sit on your gaming chair and lie to people gaslight people piss people off so stop it okay anyways that is it for me leave me a like leave me a comment subscribe if you want to and i'll see you later i should also say thank you shenanigans shout out to shenanigans on twitter for giving me the footage or some of the footage for this the video clips that is she's doing good work and i really appreciate it other than that once again leave me a comment if you want to because it seems Foodie Beauty is regurgitating the same bullshit information, raging about the same things, about things you shouldn't be raging about, to be honest with you, because what's the point? But the point of it is that she feels this is content, all content to her. If Amberlynn Reed wants to apologize to Naruto Shami, it's content to her, so she'll just get pissed off. Or maybe she'll just act. So I'm all getting ready to friggin' cyber and everything. B, and then <laughs> I'm not gonna be okay. This is not gonna be a bullying session. A bullying. Hi, everybody. Yeah. But I have to say some things, okay? Listen, I can understand why now you you apologize to to Natter because the two of you cannot take accountability for anything you do wrong. So I'm here. I am. I see like on Citrine Dream, like it came up as a recommended. But I remember that channel from before, but I seen a video. Plain cheese. And did I unblock her? Okay, good. So if you're here you can hear why what what why you're wrong, okay? Why you're wrong and you need to grow up. Like I'm a bat. She's turning this on me. This is what narcissists do. You need to watch a video on narcissism. Okay? You are a classic narcissist. And that proves it. Like, you don't take accountability for anything. At all. At all. So I can see why you, ident you, you sympathize with someone like that. This, this, okay. Number one. You could have talked to me or him in private. Why would you do that at 4 a.m.? Your therapist makes you apologize at 4 a.m. to somebody. It's weighing on your mind. Like, like you give a shit about Natter. Give me a fucking break. What's pissing me off is that you're lying. You're a liar. You're a liar. Liar, liar. I hate liars. I hate liars.